Hello everybody, and welcome back to another video. Today, we're back. Hunt Only has returned. And today, it's time to head over to the Jian LeFou, take on some new bosses, including the terrifying Kafka. Hopefully build some more of our hunt units because they're still a little weak because we are in the early game. However, we're about to hit Trailblaze level 30. That's going to give us hopefully a new cap for our character's levels. So hopefully we're going to get a lot of upgrades today too. All that, some wishes, and maybe more in today's hunt only episode. So without further ado, let's get in to the video. But before we do that, these videos really do take a lot of effort. This took a lot of time to record, edit, and put together. So it would really mean a lot to me if you could just go down and hit that subscribe button. Only a small percentage of you are actually subscribed. So it really does help a lot when each individual person does subscribe. Anyways, guys, let's get back in to the challenge. Hunt Only is returned. Welcome back, everybody. It's time. We're going to join our guy, Welt, head over to the Jian LeFou, and crack some skulls, most likely. We're here. What's up, everybody? It's just containers as far as the eye can see. Or absolutely no one. Okay, maybe there's nobody here. And here we go. Act two? Wait, no, there's no acts in this game. Well, we're in we're in the Jian LeFou anyways. We got three characters. Hopefully, it's not too much of a challenge. We are going to start getting into some of the harder enemies, including the Mara Struck, which... I'm not looking forward to. Oh, ah ha ha. Well, if it isn't who I think it is. You know what? This story might be kind of fun to replay. Considering all the context we have now on who Ting Yun really is, it might actually be fun to listen to some of the dialogue and see what's different. But anyways, we got some Mara Struck to kill. Um, this might be bad. We only have Topaz to break them, and that's all we got. Hopefully, hopefully it isn't too bad. Nice. You've arrived at a bad time. The Xianzhou has suffered an incident. Man, that's crazy, isn't it? The Xianzhou is suffering? Man, I wonder why and who could have caused it. Oh my goodness, bye Numbi. Man, Numbi is zooming. I actually do love that little chest sprint though. It is kind of cool. I think from now on, we're going to have Topaz in the lead of the party just so we can have Numbi run around. Oh, look, there Numbi goes. <laughs> even when we're not even there, Numbi still moves. Another treasure chest. Oh. And is that... Yeah, that's another relic domain. Which one is this? It is useless to us. We don't need this for anybody. Not that Sizzling Thunder was any good of a relic set in the first place. All right, now we got a big boss enemy. Oh, goodness, one of these boys. Uh, Okay, this might be a little difficult. We're going to enhance. Enhance. We got two enhances, and we go in. Let's go. I'm ready. Hopefully, this isn't too bad. We don't have many weaknesses to exploit, and he does a lot of damage. Oh, goodness. Okay, let's kill his allies. One ally. And can we get a second ally here? Yes, we can. Perfect. He shouldn't be able to heal anymore. Let's go. He lost his healing ring. That's good. Um, Please don't kill Shushang. Oh, goodness. He does damage. He does like half our health with one hit. That doesn't shock me too much, though. Okay, we're going to do this. We're, we've almost broken him. We just need a little bit more to break him. Oh, goodness. He's going to kill Zhang Lang. Oh... Zhang Lang? Who am I talking about? I've been playing too much Genshin recently, I guess. Okay, we should still be good, though. We break him. Nice. There we go. And then this should be able to kill him. There we go. Perfect. Only lost one ally. All right, here we go. I think we're going to the main city, right? And here we are, the main city. I forgot what this place is called. Sky Fair? No, that's the Sky Fair Commission. Oh, it's Starskiff Haven. Oh, okay. I remember it now. Benefactor, I'd like to ask you something. No. <laughs> Trial number two, Equilibrium, huh? Oh, do we get level 30? Oh, we did get level 30. Would you look at that? Well, now we have something else we need to do. Where is the Trial of Equilibrium? Oh, it's all the way back in Mon... Not Monstat. <laughs> it's all the way back in Eurelo 6. Okay, well, we could do... We can go do this quickly. We got time today. We got time to kill. Let's go back and finish our Trial of Equilibrium. This will allow us to get a couple more character upgrades. This is going to be very, very important. Hopefully, we can then send a bunch of our characters to that level 50 margin. All we got to do, complete one little challenge. Here we go. Trial of Equilibrium. Let's get it. The other thing that's nice about the trials, you can eat food in them. 
That makes it a lot easier, trust me. We get a little bit of an attack buff there. We can also get a little bit of a defense buff. Why not? And now why don't we go fight some enemies? Here we go. Let's get them. Kill the two guys on the side first. Nice. Second guy down. Oh, he's going to hit us with that move though. He's going to hit us with a huge move there. Oh, that's going to hurt. That's really going to hurt me. Okay, only half our health. Aha. Uh -huh. Only half, but he's broken. That's awesome. If I can, I'm going to try to save all my bursts for the next enemy. And I think we can just take him out. Yes, we can. Awesome. And we go back in. Boom. Fight number two. Don't hang. Ow. Okay, we broke her. Oh my goodness. Look at all that damage, Yu Shang. Calm down. Kill that one. Bop him. Go, Numbi. Come on, Numbi. Let's go. Numbi always coming in clutch with the victory. Let's go. We beat it. And we got a technique point increase. That's actually kind of helpful. We will take that. 45 more Stellar Jades. And it looks like we're going to start seeing hallucinations now. Or I mean stagnant shadows. My bad. All right. Well, I believe we need stagnant shadows for all three of our characters. We need two for Shu Shang, two for Don Hang, and three for Topaz. Luckily for me, they're all in Eurelo 6, so I will see you guys after I've killed all three of the bosses we need, and we will be right back. Numbi? Oh, hi there. Oh, look, another chest. Anyways, that boss down there, that was the last one we need to fight, and I think we can ascend Topaz now. We can ascend Shu Shang, and we can ascend Don Hang. And with that, we get, I believe, three more Star Rail passes, which is super nice because that means we're going to be even closer to getting another five star on that standard banner, which could possibly be a Yong Ching. Will it happen? I don't know. But what I do know is that I have six more Star Rail passes and a dream. I have a dream of getting that Yong Ching. Not this pull, but the next one. It could happen. Theoretically, in my dream, I envision Yong Ching coming home, but it won't become reality. Maybe this time? Come on. We gotta be so close. Damn it. Four? No, but we get a Lynx. I mean, I guess it's another wish. This is number five. Is that it? Nope. Six, though? Number six? Damn. It's fine. We'll get them next time. For the moment, let's level up all three of our characters. We're going to get Topaz to level 50, Shu Shang to level 50, and of course, Don Hang also to level 50. Awesome. We're going to do the same thing with their light cones. We're going to get Don Hang's to level 50. We're going to first superimpose Shu Shang's four levels because it was only super in position one, but we can actually get super in position five. So why wouldn't I do that? But we'll also take this level 50 as well. Take this one to level 50. One last light cone on our topaz. And we will now have three level 50 light cones. Awesome. We're of course going to upgrade all the traces we can. All our traces need to be maxed out. If we can do that, topaz first, obviously. Then we move to Don Hang, get his as far as we can, and it looks like we're out of materials. That's unfortunate. We'll get more of these arrows of the Demon Slayer another day. But for right now, those are all the upgrades we're going to get for our characters. Now, let's continue back to the main story. The real goal today, to capture Kafka wherever she might be. Could be in the skies above, could be in heaven, could be dead for all I know. But for right now, we gotta talk to the imminent traitor and her master of dead planes. I'm sorry, that was dark. And you know what? Her backstory's actually sad. I apologize. Hey, you know what? Her backstory may have made me shed a tear or two. Oh, look, it's Captain Mid! Oh, please don't come after me, Jingyuan mains. I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. He's really good and awesome and definitely very meta and definitely very OP. Don Hong mid, Kafka mid. I am a Jingyuan rep since day one. I absolutely love him and his emo haircut. Ah, Kafka. God, I love that character. You know, I did a knockout bracket on my YouTube community page, taking every Star Rail character into account. And wouldn't you know it, Kafka won. Shock to absolutely nobody. Da ting. An ingenium dog crafted by the Artisanship Commission. Use its pro feature to find suspicious odors and traces. Basically, we are sniffing Kafka's scent. 
That's uncomfortable. I don't like to say that, but that is essentially what we're doing. Oh, whatever. I'll just follow D-Ting. I trust him to lead me to victory and beyond. I have too many pets now. I got Numby and I got D-Ting. We have a whole army of mascots beside us. <gasps> look at us. We got double dogs. <laughs> look, at, look at the squad roll around. <laughs> That's so fun. Oh my goodness, never mind. Numby's off again. Follow Numby. No matter what, Numby will lead us in the right direction. All right, let's head to Stargazer Navilia, where Kafka's hiding in a little corner of the world from me because she is scared of the power we hold. Because we are powerful, omnipotent beings. Or at least one of us is. All right, we're on our way to find Kafka. Where could she be hiding? Maybe in this vase. She wasn't in the vase. Maybe inside this enemy? Ah, uh, never mind. I'm not fighting you. Oh, God. Ah, uh, damn it. Oh yeah, something else that I should acknowledge as we roam across the nine realms to try and find Kafka is that we do actually have a new hunt character coming very soon. I think his name is Dr. X, if I'm not mistaken. Or no, sorry, Dr. Ratio, I forgot. He has the goofiest name I've ever seen, but we are getting a new hunt imaginary five star. This was revealed like on October 31st, but Look, I may be a month late to the information, but I still obtained the information. That's what matters. And look, a new Hunt Imaginary character, I mean, that's pretty awesome. I imagine he may be the best Hunt we have so far. Right now, I'd say it's probably Sele or Topaz, but I'm hoping that, you know, Dr. Ratio is going to take that top spot and be an absolute clutch up for us. Currently, our Dr. Ratio savings are a little bleak. We have almost two 10 pulls. But I still haven't bought my five here. That's going to give us a little bit more. And we have another five star rail passes from here too. Ooh, that actually means we could get even closer to our five star. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. We're 12 times five. That's 60, 62 into pity. This is going to get us to 67, 67 into pity. No, come on. We're so close. We're so close. Oh man, really inches away from the five star. That's it. That's the five star. Oh my goodness. Please be Yong Chang. Please be Yan Cheng. I beg for everything on every life. Please, for the love of God, be Yan Cheng. Please, please, game. Oh, no. Oh, man, bro. That sucks. Wrong account. This is not Nihility only. We do not need that light cone. Well, no Yan Cheng today. Unless two more wishes. It could theoretically happen. No. One more wish. Oh, man. That's too bad. You know, it is really starting to click to me how lucky we got on the Nihility Only account getting Welt on our very first temple because we have not been uh, receiving that luck here at all. All right. Well, let's continue our journey to Kafka. Man, now I'm just sad. We, we, we could have had it. We could have had it. Instead, we get basic treasure. Uh, I guess I'll just follow her scent. Uh, this is the creepiest thing ever. The fact that we can just follow. Okay. Oh, she's here. Let's go. My favorite character. And everybody's favorite character. The people's favorite character. The knight's favorite character. All right, bye, Kafka. Well, we saw her for all of about five minutes. Now we have to fight our goons. Let's go. These guys shouldn't be too bad. They're not Mara struck. And if they're not Mara struck, then honestly, they're pretty easy. The Mara struck are definitely the harder versions of the Cloud Knights. All we gotta do is bop them around a little bit, bully them for a little bit, and the Kafka simps have been defeated. Just like that. Now we have rounded up every Kafka simp in the world. There is not a single one left on planet Earth. Thank heavens. Slide to the right. That, is, that was a long slide. Can I just play this game with this filter permanently? I just want to play all the time with the detang filter. Or you know what else we can do? Black and white. Oh, that's terrible. Uh, whoa, we can have a rave party up in here. Oh, wow, we can be in like a 1980s film. We can be paint. What in the world is this? Delete. Okay, we're good. Uh, what in the hell? Okay, no filters for today. We got to find Kafka. Kafka, are you in the control panel? No, that was the answer to that question. Okay, it's time. I think this is a pretty difficult battle. Uh, yeah, I should probably throw up an enhance, throw up a Don Hang enhance, and 
hopefully we don't lose. Oh gosh. This is actually gonna be difficult. She has a lot of debuffs. She can make us fall in love. Uh, I hope this will be easier than Nihility only was because we struggled on that account. Okay, here we go. Oh God. Kafka, she has physical and wind weakness. Oh, that's super good. Oh, that's really good. Um, let's take out her allies first though. They're gonna be more important to kill than she is because they are gonna do extra damage and we don't want them doing extra damage for her. Oh God, oh no, already? Already we're dominated? Uh, classic. Oh no, they're about to get a big hit off. Oh, Don Hang. Okay, he's dead. He's dead, okay, good. Oh God, she does so much damage. All right, do this again. Please be undominated. Oh, okay, you're, you're undominated, nice. Boom, and then big chicken bird. Bop, nice. We do this, and then I think Don Hang can break her. Don Hang, get the break. Yes, Don Hang. Nice. And then we get a secondary hit with Topaz. And 22%. I think we've got it. Unless anything crazy happens. Like that. Oh, God. Don Hang's dead. This is going to be a tight one. This is going to be really, really tight. We're just going to have to finish her off with Numbi, Topaz, and Shushang. We got this. Come on, Topaz. Numbi. 10%. 1%. Yes. Come on now. First try again, baby. Hunt only is too OP. But now preservation only comes into play here. Let's go, Fushuan. Should I do preservation only? Eh, maybe not. That challenge may be a little too easy. Well, that was uh, a pretty easy battle. I won't lie, so far we really haven't been struggling with any bosses. And I'm not too surprised by that. All these solo bosses like Kokolia and Kafka are going to be a lot easier for the hunt only account. Purely because that's what we do with single target damage. But once we reach Fantilia, that will be uh, a time to say the least. But I think that's going to be the end of our episode today. We got a new five star light cone, a couple upgrades for our characters, all taking all of them to level 50. We defeated Kafka and we got a new upcoming character to look forward to. But for today's episode, that is going to be it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.